and then back and, and then, woo! It broke! I can make a chicken nugget in here, but I can't even make a, a kernel pot. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> Friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be trying TikTok hacks to see if they actually work. This is something I've always wanted to try, but have always been too scared. You take a bag of Doritos, put it in the microwave, bag looks like it's getting rotisseried by actual lightning, shrivels up, and then shrinks. I wasn't trying to burn my house down for a DIY. Not today. Actually, today. All right, I'm actually very tempted to put this whole thing in the microwave with the chips in it, but I don't think that's a good idea. Is, it, is that not a good idea? I don't idea? think that's a good that's idea. A, that's a bad idea. Also, I'm hungry and I want a snack. Nobody trying to waste Doritos, okay? It's just little chip. I want to eat it. Mm. Mm. It's crackhead hours right now and I'm hungry. Okay, goodbye, sweet prince. Alright, so I thought this takes a long time, but actually it happened in like five seconds. Here it goes. <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! You didn't even get it! I did get it! Oh, you backed away! Yeah, I did. Here it goes. <laughs> nope! <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! Oh my god! Quick. Ooh, okay. It didn't shrink as much as I'd like. Oh, can I put it in for like two seconds more? Does that work or is it is it done? It won't do it anymore. It doesn't go smaller. It smells nasty in here. Okay, it's shrinking more. It's shrinky dinks even more. Not that much. It's supposed to be smaller. It's too big. I don't like it. Wow, very cool. Oh, you can still see all the... Oh, I love it. It's like a tiny little Dorito. <laughs> Why are you so bumpy? What if you did it with the chips? Would the chips shrink up? Would they become nachos with the cheese melt? Hmm. I didn't want to believe this one because every video I watched seemed fake. And y'all know what happened last time I tried to do a corn hack and make popcorn. Big moment in history. Man, I didn't even hear a single pop. It's steaming though. It smells like corn. So you take a flat iron, put a kernel in it. We ain't talking about KFC. And then it's supposed to just magically spawn into a popcorn. I mean, that's how you get popcorn in the first place. Kernel plus heat equals popcorn. We love a delicious hack. We gonna turn this bad boy on max heat. And then we're gonna put a popcorn kernel in this. How do we do this without burning myself? Okay, 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 here we go. I'm scared. How long do we have to hold this? How long before I have popcorn? Fresh, organic, non-GMO. What kind of hack is this? You're not gonna make a pack of popcorn like this. Okay, well, all the ones that I saw, it seemed fake. I mean, can't I just put this in the microwave? Call it a day. Y'all saw how my other popcorn hack went. Hello, popcorn today, please. Imagine how long it popcorn, takes to do a, a bowl. <laughs> Popcorn, please. This is gonna ruin my flat iron. I've had the same one for like six years. I'm gonna hold this for like 20 more seconds. Hopefully something happens. Bro, well, this max heat, this 450 degrees, how hot you want it to be? I can make a chicken nugget in here, but I can't even make a, a kernel pot. Mmm, I wish you guys could smell this. Wow, it's like a surprise pregnancy. The baby just pops out. <laughs> it's like I was pregnant all along. There is no what if, I am pregnant. And it's popcorn. All these years, Starbucks has been doing nothing but scamming us. You know how they got a small, medium, large. Sorry, tall, grande, venti. You got a tall cup of coffee. This whole time, you could have just been ordering a small, but with no ice, and pouring it into a venti cup of ice. Basically get a large drink for the price of a small. You're telling me, y'all can take this pinkity drinkity and shove it up your ventity. That's actually what we're doing today. Look like she took the small drink, asked for a venti cup of ice, Poured it in. It's like they wanted you to know this hack. Stop paying for ventis. Okay, so I went to Starbucks. I got a tall tea. I felt so dirty ordering a venti ice right after because I felt like she knew exactly what I was gonna do. Look, I ordered the tea with no ice and she didn't even fill it up the entire way. See, I thought I was getting like the whole thing, but no, she like left a good half an inch. Okay, so we're gonna take this and see if it actually works. 
think I expect it to fill up. Ooh, ooh, it's like it was meant to be a venti. A tall was meant to be a venti. And I like my drinks with extra ice, so this is perfect. This, however. So every drink is actually a tall, they just charge you more for the bigger sizes than that ice. Yeah, they charge you for a bigger cup and more ice. See, this is like $4, and this is like $6.50. Disgusting. I'm appalled. Will I still continue to order ventis? Probably. No, I'm gonna do this. No shame. I got my ventis. A little icy. Delicious. I want some. Mm. <gasps> you asked for it. If someone ever decides to steal you and you find yourself with a zip tie around your wrists and no way to escape, but you just so happen to have some sneakers on. Oh, laces, they gotta have shoelaces. You could shimmy the zip tie with your shoelace until it breaks. Okay, we love a survival hack, but does it work though? Ugh. Okay, these are actually really tight. We have some zip ties. I had to combine several of them and oh man I went snowboarding and I'm really sore. I can barely put my leg up So we're gonna take our shoelace. If I remember correctly, we're gonna tie the shoe. Oh my god I can't even like maneuver this. Yeah, this is hard I probably have a better chance of like just like mm. busting it open with pure strength. Oh my god I can't get this <laughs> Okay one shoelace, two shoelace. We're gonna tie the shoelaces together. If only I had a looser grip. <laughs> this would have been a lot easier. Mother trucker. Oh my God, this is annoying. Make sure if you get captured to wear very long shoelaces. These short boys, they just don't cut it. All I gotta do is make a double knot and then the rest is easy peasy, okay. Oh, we did it. Okay, we made a double knot. So now, ow, my finger. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna put my sleeve because this is like rug burning my wrist. And then back and forth. And oh! It broke! Oh my god, that was so easy. Back and forth. Oh! It actually just like broke this apart with just like the shimmying of the ankle. Nice. And now you're free to go. Oh, that hurt. Make sure you untie your shoe before you get up. We just got home from work. Look at all these crusty, dusty, musty bills. Oh, was that a 50? Oh, another 50. We did good tonight. You know, you can make a lot of money looking under the machines at arcades. All right, but ain't nobody want to walk into a 7-Eleven buy some Doritos with this. So we're going to take our flat iron and then just like make that money into new. Boy. Straight out of an ATM because that's definitely where I get my money from. Look at all the germs it's killing too. Oh, it's so clean you could look it. Ooh. Okay, I ain't that nasty. Wow, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Straight out of the ATM. Hey, stinky butt. You're stinky. Do you still use headphones with wires? Peasant check. I gave three people AirPods for Christmas. I still don't have a pair. This is supposed to be a super easy way to untangle your headphones. So you just take the little plastic bit and just shake it up. All that childhood trauma should untangle them. No way it can be that easy. I'm, I'm not buying it. What you should buy is some AirPods though. I'm gonna show you how to untangle these headphones. Follow me. Do the world a favor and get yourself some AirPods. I'm just kidding, I need those. <laughs> All right, these aren't that tangled, but if they were more tangled, you hold it from this little diaphragm section and just wiggle them. So we go and just be standing here in an airport, or even better, you're sitting on the plane. You're in the middle seat. It's time to untangle your headphones. Oh, my arm. Whoa. That made it more <laughs> tangled. It wasn't even this Bro, I could have taken like two seconds to just untangle this the normal way. This did not work. Maybe I have to grab it by the mouthpiece. Oh, you know what? Holding it by the mouthpiece made it easier to untangle, so. Maybe that was it. Does not work against knots. Now you're free to listen to your music. Mm. Delicious. These headphones are a paid actor. Okay. So apparently every single pizza box can do this. So you rip it in half, take the sides off, and then you have a half 
pizza box. So you can easily put it in your fridge, takes up less space. Man, it's like whenever I go to a pizza place, I got one slice left over. And they're gonna give me a whole entire pizza box. Thank you, I'm sure the rest of my 11 slices, which are now decomposing in my intestines, would have appreciated all this space. Or you and the homie trying to split a pie, you just rip it in half and then, mm. Delicious, finally, some good hecking pizza. Okay, half a pizza half. This is supposed to fold in half, what's going on? Hello, why you don't fold in half? It like folds diagonally, do you see that? And there's nothing on the side that like comes off. Oh, I think you could like rip it off. Okay, this pizza box is definitely not made for this. Half a pizza box. Will it work with this side? No, because I don't want to bend this way. Okay, that works better. What's the point of this half? To have half a pizza box. Oh, so like if there's half pizza left, you save space by putting it for. Oh. Mm -hmm. Normal person would just wrap the rest of leftover slices in tin foil. You would think so. I think this pizza box just ain't it. Should have got Domino's. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want a part two, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And comment below. Let me know which one of these you would actually try. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.